Love you guys. I don't love you. Go away. I mean, listen, now we gotta talk because, I mean, now we gotta talk. Get the f out of my face now. Ooh, that was, now. That was very rude of you. Get the f out of my face. Do you want to go to jail? Sir, ma'am, I don't really know what to call you. Just You're fucking away. done, just man. I'm done. Get the fucking police, you just insulted me. Lies, lies, lies. Well, listen here, pal. I mean, ha, you are gonna go Shit. to jail. And I could fucking tell the police to get you. I'm vegan, so don't say that. You really get the fuck out of my way right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You do not have a release. I will sue you. You're gonna sue him? Don't sue him, man, because we're trying to just. I don't have a. You do not have a release if you. Keep post this, I will destroy you. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Just keep going on. We love it. Content, we need it. This muffin is sick. The argument is sound like a man, sound like a woman. And more like he does not know his true identity. Because when he gets angry, more like his best gender comes out. When he goes down, he tries to identify like a woman. If you think about it, most of people try to claim that they are calm, they seek peace, they want to love everyone. But when you think about it, when you watch content like this, you see that they are quite different. And the way they, more like that, their words are different from their action. And it's crazy. Get some help. Oh, you're not satisfied, motherfucker. Get the f out of here. No one wants you here. Oh, I appreciate your love, man. Oh, I don't love you because you're spewing hate. Okay. Are you spewing hate right now? Uh, I absolutely am because I There you go. You're I a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. I get what I receive. And you're I there's something about what people that I don't like, like they claim to be this kind of loving but they still hate and it's, I won't say all of them but some of them actually do and it's heartbreaking. Do I support liquor, guns, beer, titties and quickies? Hell yeah! <laughs> My daughter is four years old. I am an anti-racist educator, quote unquote. She's still watching Disney movies and she is choosing a white princess over princesses of color. Have you talked to her about that? All the time. My three-year-old daughter is very, her, her favorite princess is Moana. Love it. It's a good sign. Yeah. But then I also thought, you know, there's a, a little bit of cultural appropriation here. She wants to be Moana for Halloween. Mm-hmm. So how do we navigate that? Do I go and, and, and buy the Pacific Islander native uh, attire for my white three-year-old? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I guess the, what we might call the Moana problem here is, is what, uh, on one hand, is cultural appropriation. On the other hand, there's gravitating towards uh, white characters. Right. So it's almost like no matter which way you go, you right. end up back in racism. We think every space belongs to us because we live in a white supremacist society. Is America an inherently racist country? I think the word inherent is challenging there. If we say- Fundamentally. Fundamentally, yes. America is racist to its bones. All of the- So inherently. Yeah. Here's why I see Disney, DC, like, they are trying to please everyone. I don't believe you can. Like, if you are trying to please everyone, you are pleasing no one because it does not make sense. Like, get actors who can play a role very well. They don't have to be black or white or Asian or Chinese. Like. If this person is good, he should play the role. Like, I really don't get the reason why a black person must get this role just for you to feel like you're welcome to the community. It does not make sense. No one is stopping you from watching the show. So stop sounding like that. Like, it breaks my heart when I see, like, people getting roles just because you're black or just because you're Asian, just because, like, it does not make sense. Normalize asking for consent before starting a heavy conversation. Hey, I wanted to talk with you about something kind of heavy pertaining to my family. Fuck all that. Y'all are gonna listen to me. Now listen, my dog got shot in the eye with a BB gun. I had to get him a dog eye patch. I went to Petco. They didn't have dog eye patches, so I had to go to Etsy and find one. And then my brother got shot. I beg your pardon? What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. Yes. You're going in oncoming yes. traffic. I know, and I just decided that it was better just to turn around really f quick. So okay. Let's just go ahead and step out. As an indigenous person. And Miss Perry? Am I? Well, I'm non-binary, so. Okay. What do you go by? It's Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai? Okay. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and, and me both. Okay. Okay? Anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just like trying to intimidate me. 
I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. As you know, as an indigenous person, and there's a bunch of going around. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Yeah, I'll try my hardest. I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. Generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Don't, dude. Don't make don't. it hard. Please. Don't make it hard. No. These are some things what people do that break my heart. You can't follow one-way traffic and want to hide under the fact that you have some mental issues, you are non-binary and stuff like that. No, you actually broke the law and you're drunk. And these are things that they do. Like when they see that they are cut, they just go into emotional blackmail and this actually pisses me off. I don't need men to protect me. I'm so Actually, you do need men to protect you. Really? From who? Other men? So How many times I've protect protected you? myself? So you, need men. you need them to protect I you? I don't need you guys to protect well, can me. Can you stop interrupting? Talk, I'm done. You, so, two things. First, you absolutely do need men to protect you. This may be by proxy, either through the military or through law enforcement officers. I'm assuming if somebody you know were to be you would not just protect yourself. You would not investigate it yourself. You would appeal to who? Primarily men. I would appeal to you know, law enforcement as a whole, not to specifically men in law enforcement. Which is And to be quite honest men. with you, if I need protection, if I own a gun, I don't need your, your muscles. I'm actually, I, I can handle sure. it. Here's Are the thing. Insane? I need tools. Wait, I don't I need know. men. I need tools. And men hoard all the tools and resources. So I have to ask you guys for those okay, tools. So Keep telling yourself that. What a waste of time. The man isn't having it. And when we might say they don't want men to protect them, like, if we are being honest, if there's no men to protect women, like, bro, th th this world is gonna be a mayhem. Like, everywhere is gonna be scattered. Men will cause it, it also mean men to protect it. Because, check it out, men build a lot. Houses, robots, bridges, and most times, men actually commit suicide bombing and stuff like that so you need men like both ways you need men this is 100 percent true these are the known members to the young avengers i am not joking this is who apparently like kang is gonna go up against pray for pray for humanity in the mcu pray for humanity because this is a complete joke as comparison this is the classic young avengers these guys actually look like they pose a threat right they look formidable and now this is what we got this is what we got. You can't make this up with the MCU. I, I think they're messing with this at this point. Hey, what I said, like, you don't give people rule because they are Asian, Black, Chinese. Like, give people rule because they deserve it. Like, because they can actually deliver it. Oh, how'd you like the movie, man? That movie was woke. As hell, baby! <laughs> Dude, I would hate to be told a story. Yes. Just a bunch of executive decisions in a row, please. Yes. One yes. after yes. the other. Yes. It was so well. Yeah. I'm eating it like a bunch of shit. I mean, no, no, no. Dude, I love that companies like Disney make so much money off marginalized groups, but they don't give a shit about them. Your name will be Pinocchio. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. So we live in a world where a kid can't pretend to be an Indian, but a grown man can pretend to be a woman. We're also living in a world where a fully grown adult male is having 40 chicken McNuggets for lunch and we're supposed to take advice from you. I love chicken McNuggets, but you have overdone it. I see no reason why a child can be able to change his own agenda, but they are not allowed to vote. Like, it does not make sense. But we knowing that there are some things children cannot do, like making decisions by themselves, like going to open an account by themselves. Like, how is it possible that a child can actually change his gender? Like, these are things that actually shock me, and I believe these are things that a lot of people are actually advocating for. 